Hi guys and welcome to my first video on the channel of 2017, depending on where you live, it may not be 2017 yet, but happy new year to you guys and a massive thank you for everything that you guys did help me with uh, in 2016 and hopefully that can continue into 2017 as well. So if you are hung over after a decent night out, hopefully you enjoy this video guys. It's not going to be any FIFA gameplay, it's not going to be any FIFA packs, it's going to be a series which I do every transfer window and it's basically looking at all the transfers from around the world, ones which have happened, ones which are going to happen and uh, basically provoke thoughts, not only with myself but also with you guys as well and uh, one other thing with it, which brings the uh, new year guys is the start of the transfer window which does open up and uh, it has opened up now so I can imagine a lot of big clubs around the world uh, especially in the Premier League, uh, if they do have African players, will be splurging in the market this year just to get some players as replacements as a lot of the players will be heading out for the African Cup of a Nation soon. So, Liverpool are potentially losing Mane. Um, I don't know of any other ones. I haven't really followed uh, what other players are going to be leaving the Premier League, but I know it's only for a short time anyway, but I know Mane is going to be disappearing out of the Liverpool squad. So, if you guys do want MSP, PSN codes, or cheat game codes, guys, go and check out G2A.com. Their link is down below. If you're trying to hit over 5,000 likes, guys, that would be brilliant. And, guys, subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already. So, there's going to be one midweek episode, one weekend episode, um, probably throughout the week, uh, the month of December, and that will uh, return back in summer as well, uh, as it does show us some potential new cards coming onto Ultimate Team. Now, you are seeing on the screen now, guys, it is a Carlos Tevez. This is the last card of FIFA 17 that you will see of his, apart from obviously his base card. And that is because the Chinese Super League has obviously splurge that huge money as they always do every single year guys and uh, they are pulled in some big names the first one being Carlos Tevez so he was obviously out in the Argentinian league he has now left and I think he's contracted there till 2020 maybe it was 2018 but if he does return earlier then uh, the cl uh, obviously the club he left has got to pay 41 million uh, pound back um, to obviously uh, well repay it so I can't imagine Carlos Tevez leaving anytime soon so obviously his card will re remove from PAX uh, as well as everyone else who does go out of the game. Evimenko, you guys may or may not know about what happened to him. Uh, he was caught sniffing cocaine or, or drugs test pos uh, tested positive for drugs. Uh, he's been banned from football and he's also, you cannot pack this guy now. So he's a pretty rare card within your clubs. The next player we've got, guys, apart from Tevez, is Oscar. This is a big money move as well. Um, left Chelsea last week and has joined um, a Chinese club. And the reason I don't know the Chinese club names, guys, is because... I don't know. Uh, one of them, well, mainly because they're not in FIFA. That's the reason I don't know them. I don't really follow the Chinese Super League. Anyway, uh, but Oscar is another big money signing who's left Chelsea um, to pursue his dream uh, in the Chinese Super League. He said he grew up watching the Chinese Super League and he can't, couldn't wait to get out there. Um, not talking about the money that he's getting or anything else like that, guys. But um, obviously, Oscar is another one. So that's two. Tevez and Oscar uh, will be out of FIFA 17 when he decide to update that one. Moving on to the next. Witzel. We talked about this a few times in the FIFA 17 transfer centre videos we did. He was close to a signing um, with Juventus uh, and was pretty annoyed that the transfer didn't go through on the deadline day. This one potentially may not go through. Uh, obviously, Juventus said they were going to go back in for him. Um, his co contract's up at the end of this year, I think. Uh, but it is looking, guys, like Witzel is going to prefer a big money move to the Chinese league over Juventus, which is pretty ridiculous. Well, I don't know. I understand why footballers go out there for the payday. Uh, it's a payday at the end of the day. It's what people do work for. Money obviously makes the world go around. It uh, sorts out your futures and uh, obviously retirement, especially with a footballer. You're retired by the age of like 32 to 37. Um, and Witzel could be uh, thinking about that, getting sorted for um, the end of his footballing career. Um, interesting. What would you rather see Witzel do? Go to the Chinese Super League to get some big pays, uh, big money? Uh, or would you rather see him go and fight it out in the Juventus team uh, for potentially titles and the trophies? The next one we got is Depay. Uh, and I know a lot of these haven't changed badges yet, guys. But we do uh, change the badges when they are linked to clubs. But Mar uh, sorry, Martial... And Depay, Bobby, not, not Martial personally, um, but Depay has been pissing off Jose Mourinho, as you guys do know. He is expected to be making a exit out of the Manchester United team uh, in the January transfer window. I don't know who he's going to be linked with or who's going to uh, go and pick him up. A lot of people are linked with um, uh, Everton. Everton going for Depay. Very, very interesting. Um, he didn't, didn't enjoy it. He said he wanted to leave a while ago. 
Mourinho's going to express that wish and uh, has obviously come out in the media and said that more than likely Depay will not feature again in a Manchester United shirt. So, Man United fans, what do you think of this one? Do you think he hasn't been given enough time under uh, Mourinho? Do you think he's been a bit, a bit of a flop in the Premier League? Um, or will you be glad to see him go and maybe open up some more money um, to potentially spend £90 million on uh, someone you used to have in your team. Let's have a think. Let's have a think who who left for Manchester United. Maybe don't know. Maybe you'll buy Van Persie back for ninety mil. Who knows? Who knows? I'm only joking. Anyway, guys. Um. So Depay potentially could be leaving Manchester United. Then the next one is Deli Ali. A lot of clubs have been lining up Deli Ali for years now. High, um, obviously Premier League clubs. Even though Tottenham have been finishing really, really well, um, the past couple of seasons. Um, even uh, clubs abroad have been going after Deli Ali. Now the price tag has been put on Deli Ali of fifty million pounds i just put that in there guys to see if you guys think that if Deli Alli is worth 50 million now it comes to that thing again especially with premier league clubs uh if it's english english talent the likes of raheem sterling uh, john stones as well guys uh, english players are worth a considerable amount of money compared to the foreigners um obviously the european uh, like spanish german and italian players um like Deli Alli I don't think, if he was like a level playing field and people weren't bothered that he was English, I don't think he'd be worth 50 million. Um, but I wanted to put that in there to see your guys' opinion on it. And uh, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. The next one, guys, and the last one I think without a badge is, according to Ronaldo's agent, uh, agent, agent, uh, agent, there was a bid of about 270 million put in for Cristiano Ronaldo from an unnamed Chinese club. Very, very interesting. Um, and Ronaldo would have been making around 300 million a year um, from just being out there as well. And that didn't include the, uh, obviously, transfer fee itself. Um, Real Madrid swiftly turned that one down. And I know it's simple. Cristiano Ronaldo makes Real Madrid more than 300 million a year anyway. Off shirt sales, appearances, um Mer anything merchandise and just the name Ronaldo at Real Madrid makes them so much money so it would have to be a stupid offer to try and pull him out of it um, but who knows what Cristiano is going to do uh, in the future might be a nice way to retire he is well loved all over the world especially in China um, so it'll be interesting to see if he does head on out there and who knows if Ronaldo is worth 270 how much do you think Messi would be worth if the Chinese clubs, clubs come knocking the next one we've got guys is Serge Aurier been in a lot of trouble over the past few years with uh, police teams teammates, um, even even saving someone's life on a football pitch. Um, but Aurier his, is heavily linked with a move to AC Milan, who were looking for a speedy deal. Now, Milan are actually going for a few players this uh, uh, transfer window, obviously, after, after winning a trophy um, in December. Um, they're looking to bolster the squad, squad to get a better league position, and Aurier uh, could fill that. I wouldn't mind seeing him out in the Serie A. He would be a very, very decent right-back um, in the Serie A, because a lot of people seem to rock Serie A teams more than Liga, and for feed purposes, this will be a very, very good transfer. Next one we've got, guys, is Ndidi, currently out in Genk, uh, I think it is, and Leicester City are trying to push a deal through uh, to sign him in the transfer window of January, um, and honestly, that card looks very, very similar to Kante. Leicester City pulling in some very, very good defensive midfielders each time. Uh, Kante, absolute superstar find. Um, Mendy, he's all right. He's not, not the worst. And this and Diddy, I don't know much about it. Maybe you guys know a lot more than me. Um, but this is looking like it could be done by the end of January. We then have Quincy Promes. Liverpool linked with a replacement for Mane, like I did say, guys, going out for the African Cup of Nations. And Promes seems to be a name heavily linked um, by a lot of newspapers, a lot of media. I wouldn't mind seeing Promise. Whether he does all right at Liverpool, who knows? But we definitely do need some uh, replacement. Well, not replacements, just cover uh, for while the team is torn to bits. And I think even Liverpool's Matip um, is one of the players who could potentially be uh, leaving as well um, just to uh, compete in the tournament. So, Promise, Liverpool fans, let me know your thoughts on this one. And Liverpool fans, again, after a goalkeeper. Yes, we have Simon Mignolet after a 1-0 uh, victory over Manchester City. He wasn't really tested today, though, uh, or yesterday. Um, and obviously, our other keeper, Karius, uh, has flappy hands. Our keepers have flappy hands. Now, obviously, with Joe Hart being alone at Torino, um, would Manchester City even allow Liverpool to try and go for him to make it a permanent signing? Bravo himself at Manchester City is absolutely shocking. He has been having an absolute howler um, in goal for Manchester City. Um, should Joe Hart just go back to City and uh, rekindle his career there? But Joe Hart isn't the only keeper Liverpool are linked with, but he was the main one. So I thought I'd throw him in there and get your guys' opinion. 
Next one we got guys, Marseille want to put a bid in for uh, Faguli from West Ham, as you guys know he did. Only joining the summer anyway. Uh, I think it was a summer, maybe he's been there longer, but Faguli, uh, Marseille are eyeing up a bid for him to bring him to the Liga 1. We have Delafort as well, Milan looking for a speedy deal to bring him into uh, the AC, um, AC uh, ranks as well in January. Would be a loan deal as well, uh, maybe with the option to buy at the end of it, um, but not really getting many appearances for Everton um, this season. We've got Lorente. Very surprising this one, guys. Lorente linked with a move to Chelsea of all teams. Very strange. Uh, obviously, we get a perfect link to a lot of players. Pedro, um, uh, Costa, who else is there? Fabregas. I'm probably missing a lot of uh, Spanish players at, at, at Chelsea. But yeah, Lorente would uh, would bring someone else. He'd bring some extra, extra height and uh, maybe a route one ball. But Chelsea seem to be absolutely steamrolling the Premier League at the moment. And uh, it's looking like Liverpool are going to be in for a tough ask if they do want to win the league. We then have Michael Keane um, currently at... I know he was at Burnley. I don't know where he's at now. Maybe he still is at Burnley. Um, but Everton want to try and pull him in uh, in the January transfer um, to bolster their defence, which is needed pretty quickly. And then we've got Steven and Zonzi as well. You guys may remember him. Ex-Premier League player currently tearing it up in the La Liga. Um, Tottenham are going to look and bring him into the Premier League. Would fit into their team straight away. Absolutely amazing player in FIFA. He's in form version. Sick, guys. You know I uh, do compare him to Patrick Vieira. And if you guys haven't tried him out, really recommend doing so. Very, very nice player we have a Serbi as well uh, Leicester City trying to uh, bolster the defence and uh, a Serbi looks to be key to that one currently out in the Serie A and then we have Arturo Vidal looking to be linked with his ex-manager um, um, obviously uh, Conte going to be uh, hopefully bringing him because Conte was a manager at Juventus when Vidal was there um, but I think he wants to reunite him in the Chelsea ranks would be ridiculous and Chelsea <laughs> Chelsea would win the league for the next few seasons, I think, if they pulled in the, the uh, transfer targets, which they do want. Vidal in the Premier League will be sick. His price will be absolutely phenomenal in the uh, game of FIFA. We have Lucas Leiva as well. This one was going to be uh, pushed through in the first couple of weeks of the transfer window. Lucas Leiva making a loan deal to Inter Milan, but Inter have actually put it on stall uh, currently. Uh, while they go and open up some more options, I honestly, as a Liverpool fan, don't mind Lucas Leiva. He comes in, he plays a business wherever he wants to, uh, wherever the manager wants him to do it. Whether he can do it to that standard, who knows? Um, but at least he's a tryer. We then have Marco Van Ginkel, who has signed a fresh new deal with Chelsea today, but is going out on loan to PSV for the remainder of the season. Um, I think it was to 2018 or 2019 that the deal has been extended. Um, I honestly think Van Ginkel won't isn't getting game time at Chelsea. He may as well go and push his career elsewhere guys and uh, see how we can get on but um, for the payday He's doing all right, isn't it? We got Tom Cleverley as well, the fringe player at Everton, not really getting many um, starts for Everton at the moment. And Rafa Benitez wants to pull him into the ranks for the Championship side. And then we got uh, Courtois, one of the best keepers in the Premier League. Not really tested, is he? He's not really been tested this season because of the way Chelsea do play. And obviously Chelsea, I think Chelsea conceded two goals there against. Um, Stoke City, um, but Real Madrid still looking for that goalkeeper, that super superstar goalkeeper. They went after De Gea last couple of years. That one failed. Courtois seems to be the next link up for them. So whether that one happens, we'll have to wait and see. And uh, as you guys know, Atle ex Atletico Madrid goalkeeper as well. So they're not even bothered about rivalries. And then we're going to Nagatomo guys, who has been linked to a move to Sunderland. So some nice batch of transfers which could happen on FIFA. And uh, there's one more. Is it that that's the last one, guys? The last one actually is Alexis Sanchez. Been heavily rumoured for the past uh, few weeks now that he's going to be leaving um, leaving Arsenal. Some big clubs going after him, including Juventus. Um, and Arsene Wenger saying that if he didn't want to renew his contract or wanted to leave, uh, he would be able to find a replacement. That is one fucking player to find a replacement for, because Alexis Sanchez is absolutely tearing up the Premier League. So, guys, comments and thoughts down below. If you want to see the full team uh, as there, you can see it all on here. And uh, as you guys do know, I do build these teams on Footwiz, which has a custom builder, which you can view on the web app. That's why we've got the nice little snow effect. So, guys, hit that like rating if you're hyped for the transfer window opening. Show me what positions your teams do need in the comments section below. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and uh, feel free to leave some comments about this video and the transfers which I have mentioned.